All right, let's take a look at this model here that has several things wrong with it. And uh, there are things that are typical to uh, people who are new to subdivision service modeling, but also um, very seasoned, <laughs> experienced modelers uh, run into this occasionally as well. So <clears throat> let's take them one at a time. And the first thing, let's look at the, this top piece here. What's going on here? And why is this not connected to the model? Well, it actually is connected, as you can see. As I move the, these polygons there, they are attached, uh, but they don't appear to be attached. And the reason for that is, is we have what we call a mix of polygon types. So we have part of the model is uh, Catmull Clarks and the other part is just regular subdivision surfaces. And we can identify this too by uh, going into our stats here, going to uh, polygons and go by type, and you'll notice here uh, where it says subdivisions, if I click on the plus sign, it's going to uh, select those. Those are standard subdivs. And down here where it says Catmull Clark, if I click the plus, we can see the rest of them are Catmull Clarks. Well, there's a couple of ways to fix that. Number one, I could just easily click here and just hit the tab key and then hit shift tab, and that fixes it again. Uh, or I can, uh, I can go over and deselect everything here um, and then go to tab to convert everything to faces and hit shift tab and convert them back into uh, Catmull Clarks. So that'll, that'll fix that issue. So let's take a look at another little issue here and uh, I'll just swing around to the bottom side of this model and you can see there's this huge window in the bottom where there should be uh, a group of polygons. Well, the polygons are actually there. Uh, they're, however, flipped in the wrong direction. Now remember how I mentioned in an earlier video that Moto shows you only one side of a polygon. This is why we can see through this uh, and we don't see actually the top of the model at all uh, because Moto is only showing us one side of a polygon. And this is called a surface normal. In order for us to uh, correct this mistake, we want all the surface normals facing the same way, facing outwards. So um, unfortunately mesh cleanup really doesn't uh, have a, a utility that'll, that'll uh, fix that for us. So what I do is I'll go over to the Polygon tab, which is right here. And if you go down here, there's a, an alignment feature, and that's going to align all the surface normals to face the, the uh, same direction. So I'm gonna just click that, and it tells me eight polygons were flipped. And that's all there is to that. So that's a very simple fix. Another little issue you might run into from time to time is something like this. And you might say, well, there's probably two edges there instead of a single edge. But if I click on it and I look over to my stats uh, in the lower right of the screen here, we can see I've selected one edge. So um, there's two edges and that's what it should be. Uh, so you might ask yourself, well, what's going on here? Well, let's take a look. Let's go to the bottom here and uh, I'll grab some polygons here and I will hide them so I can see inside here. I'll hide it and there it is. Um, we can see that something is going on here and there it is. Looks like I have what we call a manifold. It's kind of a, a group of polygons that are attached to edges. Uh, so they're sharing uh, three polygons to an edge instead of just two. And uh, <clears throat> this will cause all sorts of problems when it comes to subdivision surfaces. Now you wouldn't notice this if you were just working in poly mode, but if you're working in subdivs, sure enough, it's gonna cause you some issues. So what uh, I would do simply is go ahead and select those polygons. And again, this is one of those things you kind of have to fix manually because uh, uh, mesh cleanup won't do that. And speaking of mesh cleanup, there we are. Mesh cleanup does uh, forgive a whole host of errors. And one of the things <clears throat> that you might run into when you're modeling is when you sometimes delete uh, polygons or edges, the vertices still stay there. 
they still stay behind. And you, you can't see this because by default, Moto hides the vertices. So if I go into vertex mode here, this vertex tab here, and go show vertices, I can see all the vertices on the model. But I can also see the ones that are floating in space. Select that. Yes. So you can go around and uh, select them by hand and get rid of them. Or you can jump over here to the stats window. Uh, go to the vertices uh, drop down menu there and select by polygon and you can see here that uh, there are nine it's kind of ghosted there but you can see that there are nine vertices that have no polygons attached to them or that are not attached to any polygons so we can select that and delete them or an easier way to do that is just go up here to the uh, create tab and where it says mesh cleanup click on that click OK and that will clear out all those floating vertices for you. All right. So this mesh cleanup will fix a whole host of problems for you. So I highly recommend using this uh, tool, this utility, throughout your modeling process. And you'll find that uh, it will solve a lot of little problems for you.